All right, folks. Going out here to do a little checking on the cows and do a little feeding. See what we got going on. Make sure everybody's all right. Figured I'd bring you along and turn this around. Come on. There's our newest mama. And man, look at her. She is thick. Oh, look at these two. Running. Oh, there's our new baby. Uno. Oh, Uno. All right. Let me see. Well, let me uh, let me get my buckets full. All right, I got my buckets full. Well, they're not full. Look, I don't have to feed them grain, but I I do so that go away, go, go on. He likes to get a little rambunctious. You better knock it off. Knock it off. Let me get the feed throat out. Uh, anyway, I couldn't do that one hand. Yeah, he likes to get a little spicy. Um, but anyway, I don't have to feed these guys. Um, I do have enough grass out here. But the reason I do it is to be able to keep an eye on them and actually see, you know, actually uh, get them used to uh, being around us and get them used to, or get us to be able to see how they are, how they're doing and all that stuff. Um, this is, this is number four. Um, she's the one that's mama to that one. So we have mama cow here, old mama is what we call her. As you can see, she is wide. Now, being a Dexter, she's pretty good size as far as, boy, she's off to the left, but her udder isn't growing. Um, this one here either, she's, She's supposed to be due this month in May. That one's supposed to be due in May as well. But uh, man, they sure are putting on the putting on the size. Uh, anyway, that one there, old Red. She uh, she's young still yet. She may have gotten a little breeding. Oh, about a month ago, three weeks ago, same week that. Uno was born, so anyway, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna walk down here and show you the pond. Let these guys do their thing. Like I said, I don't I don't have to feed them, but I do just to be able to keep a routine and get them used to us and be able to know what's going on. So, are you gonna come up here? <laughs> That's Uno. Oh, Uno. He might walk up to me. Well, I guess not. Put too much of his mom in it. Anyway, I figured I'd show you the grass. You can see there's a definite line between this field lot two lot and three lot that's three lot but <laughs> it's not growing as fast as i would hope it to um i was hoping to be able to have them in on it this weekend but 
Okay, it's been a month. Um, they've, they've been on it one day in a month. And the reason I did that was to get the horses separated out so that I could get those moved to their owner. So, oh, so much stuff to do around here. Got to haul stuff off. Got to move stuff. Look at the blackberries. I'm telling you, the blackberries are full this year out here. Anyway, I've got a lot of stuff to do. I figured I'd show you the pond down there. Um, it's holding. It's full. And it's doing its job. I've still got a little cleanup around it as far as dirt work, but it's it's doing what it's supposed to do and it's almost double the size actually it's probably double the size because it's deeper now so anyway i'm gonna go up here and finish my daily routine of chores uh, stephanie is down at the one of the kids is because she's had to work down there this today and tomorrow so i'll go finish my routine here feed Benjamin Button. All right. Get up here and feed Benjamin Button. Old Button. You got plenty of water. So, <clears throat> I got this spot. So that's that's my actual property line. Um, I built this fence because we had the horses coming and I didn't know exactly where the property line was. And I had it surveyed, you know, a couple years later. Anyway, um, I just haven't moved the barbed wire fence. So there's an alley between it. And actually, I use the alley sometimes to take the skid steer back. Instead of going through the neighbor's property, I take the skid steer back to the woods back there to, you know, fix fence, do whatever. <laughs> so anyway, um, button gets picked on quite a bit and uh the bull and red like to bully him and we caught him we caught him trying to shove him through the fence so you know what i just make him a little pin out here and man he's ate this down he's been out here about a week and uh he's ate this down pretty good so i'm gonna end up having to find him another little pin um i had him in one of the cattle panel pins but uh i don't i just didn't like him being in there and having to be on hay all the time and and all that stuff you know i want him to have some good grass so come on button come on this little dude this guy's 33 inches tall i actually measured him i thought he's about 28 but he's 33 inches tall Full grown, he'll never get any bigger. Come on, button. Never get any bigger. Cool old dude. Boy, he's just a. Come on, Bubba. Come on. Hey, come on. There you go. You goofball. It's right there. Here. Whatever. Here. Button. Come here. We're wondering if he's about half blind sometimes. Come on, Bubba. Eat your food. I don't know if this cat scared him or what. Come on. <laughs> anyway, he is a cool little dude. Very friendly. There you go. Very friendly. Let's pet on him. Doesn't really care about much. As long as he can keep his fat belly full. Anyway, figured I'd give you 
a little bit of the routine show you the little mini here a little chondro they call it. he's a chondro dextra which is a uh, mutation of the gene I'm assuming from what I understand it's a mutation when uh, I guess when they were trying to breed the smaller cows to the smaller cows and they anyway whatever it is I'm not a scientist or a genealogist or whatever you want to call that so anyway that's what comes out of him there's a there's a chance that his mom the one that old mama over there there's a chance in fact it's 25 percent chance that she could have another chondro so we will hopefully not think as she looks i don't think it is unless she has twins so anyway i'm gonna jump off here and try to get my chainsaw chain sharpened and maybe cut a few trees so thanks for watching um comment subscribe whatever we're chilling old jinx down there running around seeing what he can find anyway i gotta thin my thin my woods out a little bit guys have a good afternoon